Hello everyone, Digfig here and welcome. In this Borderlands 3 item overview video, we are going to be going over the Recursion, a legendary shotgun. Now what makes this a legendary shotgun? It is this C green text for description, C red text for description, flavor text. I have no clue what this is from. If you guys do, please let us know in the comments because we would absolutely love to learn. The wiki has almost no information and I could not find very much out about this. Now, what does this actually do for the gun? It shoots a bunch of projectiles in a very, very tight group, very accurate gun, and they hit things and they bounce off and ricochet towards another enemy, which makes this thing quite an amazing mob clear, to be totally honest. It's, I, I'm surprised by this gun. But as for the way it looks, um, it's pretty darn cool. I like the shotgun. I love that it has the alien stuff on it here. I think it looks really cool. I think this looks cool on almost all the guns. It's only like one that has it, which I don't really like. I love all the eyes opening and closing and stuff. It's really, really cool looking. Um, as far as I can tell, this can drop in every single element damage type. So there's no restrictions on that one. Now for my personal thoughts and overview. Um, again, I am surprised by this gun. It hits so freaking, I'm talking 56K crits on my flak. Um, and it just deletes things. And when there is more than one mob in this area, it is ridiculous because it bounces off them and it can even bounce back to the original target you shot if they're all sitting stationary. Like it acts kind of like a Captain American shield almost bouncing between targets. And the charge up is really slow. It's awkward to use, but when it does hit, it hits so hard. If you're on a proper elemental build or something with this, or if there are the reflection builds, man, yeah, I don't know. It's not a bad mobbing weapon, to be totally honest. Um, the ability to, like, you can see here, it's just bouncing between these two targets and deleting them. Ah, I like this gun now, actually. I don't think I'm gonna keep it on me. It's not gonna become a personal, like, favorite, but I have had a lot harder times clearing mobs in this area than I have on this thing. <laughs> it's, this thing is pretty darn impressive. You can also, alternative fire mode just swaps between its damage type. Um, so it does roll on two elements, which is also a nice bonus in this game. But you guys can see here, if there's enough, if there's more than one mob in an area, it makes mobbing really, really, really easy. You just kind of like delete some things. That's, it's really, really impressive. And I just hit a, a freaking fire resistant thing with a fire one for 44k elemental damage. Just with no bonuses, my flag isn't geared or specced of anything to do with fire. This is pretty crazy. Um, just raw damage. I'm sorry to repeat myself, but like, I don't really care because this thing is just impressive. Uh, aiming, aiming is hard for me apparently right now. But also as a shotgun and just being super accurate, um, it's super nice. And it does ricochet even if you miss the enemies, so like you have a chance in tight quarters and stuff to still just rock their world. Okay guys, you need to stop moving because you're making me look really, really bad for this video, everyone. Holy crap, guys. What is that, like 13 misses in a row? Embarrassing. I could edit it out with the editing magic, but we're not going to. You guys can see there, this thing is just super hard hitting. I think it would actually be a very, very good mobber. I'm not sure if it'll scale up to Mayhem 3, to be totally honest. But on a proper like elemental damage build or something, you could probably be hitting for 100 to 200k, which would be ridiculous. Um, there are other builds that are maybe better than the, using this thing on the elemental people, but either way, just incredibly surprising, super accurate, hard hitting, AOE ricocheting death machine of a shotgun here. If you guys use this and like it or have any other things or I missed anything about this gun, uh, let us know in the comments. We'd love to know why you like it, where you like it, um, if you use it, if you don't, that'd be freaking awesome. And if you're looking to get one of these for yourself, mine personally dropped in the floating tomb off of Grave Ward. He's the vault boss here on Eden 6. So if you want a place where it's guaranteed to drop, you can go here. If you guys got it somewhere else, let us know in the comments to give people options to know where exactly to farm this thing. That'd be awesome. Hopefully I didn't repeat myself too much in this video. And as always, I really do appreciate you guys stopping by. It means a whole lot. The support is awesome. And if you like this video, above me there should be a playlist appearing soon of a bunch of videos just like this one. And if you like some of those, think about subscribing, hitting the bell notification, liking, commenting on a bunch of things, just being an awesome person in the community overall. And I will see you guys in the next video. Dig